Hey everyone, today we are gonna play Chromie. I haven't played her in a couple days, but she's a fun ranged assassin, so let's see how we do. Alright, looks like today we find ourselves on Sky Temple. The friendly team is The Butcher, Varian, Murky, Chromie, and Falstad. The enemy team is Alarak, Leoric, Sergeant Hammer, Garrosh, and Sylvanas. I'm going to go with Compound Aether for my first talent. So goal is try his many cues, and then on the level two, I'm going to go with Bronze Talons. Then I will continue with probably the Dragon's Eye. Then I'll go with Slowing Sands. I'll then go with Bye Bye. Um, then going with the Shifting Sands. And then finally we will probably go with... Not quite sure yet. We'll, if we make it to 20, we'll make a decision from there. Alright, so looks like they are hard pushing top. So Falstad and I are gonna get some free XP down here at the bottom. Hmm. I done this before? You know, Chromie is known for her wave clear. Time to take things into my own hands. That's fine. The night of the sun grows with your stable. Soon they shall bask into my glory. All right. Here we go. Grab this globe. Of course. Eight. I'm going to see what we can do here. The time stream won't repair itself. So this is why I get bronze talons, because even if I miss, it doesn't really matter. Because my uh Auto attack does a critical hit. Let's go ahead and poke. So even I haven't even hit a single skill shot on Garrosh yet. However, I'm still whittling him down because of the bronze talons. So I like that a lot. So I'm dead here. Nope. I got saved. I got saved. I got saved. Thank you for the save. All right, I'm gonna back off. Thank you, Butcher. So much left to be done. All right, we'll let Butcher go that because he has better wave clear than myself. We'll just. Go here. And so the light fades from my temples, but it will return again. <laughs> Your time just ran out. Hmm. Have I done this before? Right. 
that was just a bad move by the sergeant hammer there. I knew exactly where she was and just kept it with it. That's Oh, there we go. Oh, game froze there for a second. Once again, I don't need to be hitting all my skill shots because I have the bronze talents, which is just honestly the best, like one of the better talents I, in my opinion. All right, so. game froze again and that actually made me lose so that sucks um, somehow that I'm guessing it's because of the kills 8 to 8 no so who is not doing their part looks like the butcher is just getting straight up caught out All right, I'm just gonna go down here Objectives in the bottom lane. What kind of talents is Varian going with? Yes. Oh, Varian's not going My with the ideal. He's not doing what we need him because he was supposed to be our tank and he is not doing that. Alright, so. We need Varian down here to We need Varian to go in there and actually, you know, do damage. Be the first person that we Skin. The uh, Sergeant Hammer is the person that's definitely the weak link. And we'll get bye bye. And it looks like our weak links are the Butcher and um, Varian. So, as long as we can exploit theirs and minimize ours, I think we'll do fine. Alright, so, with with us t getting this objective, we had the Sylvanas pushing, and no one's responding, and still no one's responding. Alright, so... That is just a bad move by the Butcher there, just didn't notice it whatsoever. Um, I don't think that we're going to be winning this game. It depends on how badly we, uh, still keep losing. And, you know, just basically what happens with the Butcher and Varian, because they are, as I said, they're definitely our weakest link. We needed Varian to go with uh, a tank build, and he's just not doing that. There you go. Butcher, once again though, if Butcher gets all of his stacks, he does come online and is able to just do a lot more damage. So that's what we want. It's just to him to, uh, him to get his stacks. So any kill he gets is perfect. Sand Blast increase ability power. Your enemy has destroyed the Alright. 
Once again, that was the butcher just kind of going in there and killing us. And we're going to be losing the bottom keep here. And we're going to be trading it for a fort. So yeah, we're definitely going to be significantly far behind as far as buildings are concerned. Um, XP, we're about the same. Uh, yeah. This is going to be interesting. I'm not... And are they... They do eventually get the kill, but for a trade. Alright, so we still kept the keep, which is good. Um, we do have the butcher being cut out here. Little help here. There we go. So we were able to make a favorable trade there. I was able to get out. Um, Varian wants Murky to go ahead and push that down. Let's see who's still up. And yeah, we still have this, the Savans is still up and the Garrosh. Um, I'm just going to do what I can to um, land clear, I guess. I'm just going to leave. Uh, remember me. There we go. And there we go. Butcher gets the kill. Uh, let's go and help out this middle. See what we can do to turn this around. Murky's going for the bottom, and we're going to be going for the top here. Let's just go ahead and push that down. We'll get as many shots as we can. So we took that and probably aren't going to get the last couple hits on there, but that's fine. Looks like we were actually able to get the last shots. That's great. Does definitely help us out. You have stolen enough All right, we head. should be Return taking this. All right.
so we do know that Sergeant Hammer is right there. Alright, we actually might be able to win this one. That was a good comeback by us. Wow. Once again, we were able to make it to the late game. Uh, the Butcher came online and we definitely exploded their Sergeant Hammer to the maximum. I'm not sure where the turnaround was, but I think it probably maybe when Butcher got his stacks and he started just concentrating on the one character. It was good. I definitely didn't do as much as I should have. We'll look at her stats after this. I'll give it to Falstad, sure. He uses Global Well. Um, the Murky may be harassing the bottom lane. Let's look at our stats here. So I died twice, I got 5 kills, 14 assists. We were all pretty much even in the uh, hero damage, even though I was the lowest, which is not good for me. I was missing a lot of my skill shots and stuff, and they had me on wave clear for a lot of it. That's what kept us in the game, I think, for at least the first part. So, you know, that's why my uh, siege damage as a chromie is high. Uh, let's look at our talents. The talents we went with today were uh, Compound Aether, uh, Bronze Talons, Dragon's Eye, Slowing Sands, Bye Bye, Shifting Sands, and then Past and Future Me. So yeah, this allows us to get 8% ability for the next 10 seconds. This bonus can be stacked up to 40% uh, for the duration and is refreshed whenever an enemy is damaged by Sandblast. Alright, so just as long as we keep hitting people with Sandblast or keep casting it, we... Uh, get more ability power so use that with the dragon's eye you can really really damage people it was good um if i was better with the uh, temporal loop i would have used that um but i don't quite have the timing down between the sandblast the dragon's eye and the uh slung sands or sorry in the temporal loop so it's, it's one thing i need to work on because if i can um get that down then it'd be uh, like a one shot kill but yeah, this Sergeant Hammer, let's go back to the stats here. Sergeant Hammer died 7 times. The Orc died 10. Actually. Wow, alright. I was surprised about that one. So we just were able to catch Metal of Much, Sylvanas overextending. And we were able to get some kills. So at one point we were even on the kills, but they were um, two levels ahead of us. And then we just kind of turned around and started killing. It was great. Alright, but let me know what you guys think and how I could improve in the future. Thank you very much and have a great day.